75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, which is one of the commemorative events of the Daughters of the American Revolution this year. I was here on the 20th anniversary around a, a muddy hole that was dug to place the mass. But Joe Gluck had several of us come here, Dean Joe Gluck, and we did a little ceremony on the 20th anniversary. And it's, it's really nice to be back here 55 years later today doing the same thing. In fact, I'm going to read the same poem that I read uh, on the 20th anniversary. I remember Pearl Harbor so well because I was 13 years old and I listened to Roosevelt's speech. I looked at my father and said, Daddy, what does that mean? He said, we're in for a hell of a war in the Pacific Ocean and we sure were. But I, later I served in the Korean War. But uh, this is a day we have to remember. Thank you very much. The worst thing we've had. Worse even than, than the 9-11 attack. The Japanese bomb, bombers, it was a terrible event. I wouldn't miss this celebration or anything. It's a great opportunity to come and speak today uh, at the Pearl Harbor Day Remembrance. Uh, it's a very solemn occasion uh, where the United States was, uh, was thrust into the Second World War. And I think it's appropriate that we take a couple minutes and uh, honor uh, the sacrifice of those uh, people uh, gave on that day. Bree, there was a man with a soul so dead who never hath to himself said, this is my own, my native land, and when I hear its navy panned, I climb right to my feet and shout, what sort of rot you talk about? <laughs> no one with any bit of sense can pan our first line of defense. Far better you should drink a toast, and of our navy you should boast. Far greater in efficiency than any ships on any sea, the greatest flag flies at our mast, and when we see our navy vast, who sail beneath the flag unfurled, the greatest navy in the world. So, as I said, that was published four days prior to the Japanese setting sail to attack Pearl Harbor on December 7th. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the 